Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again, and look how Mexican I look in preschool. Wearing the sombrero, the poncho, and I'm riding a mule. That's pretty Mexican. <laughs> uh, but anyway, today what we're going to be doing is installing a graphics card into a computer. I'm not going to be showing the software side of things, just because I don't have any sort of uh, screen capture software or hardware with me right now. So this is just the hardware portion. Um, but doing the software stuff is pretty easy, so you should be able to figure it out. But first things first, uh, there are some safety matters you have to kind of take care of. Number one is unplug your computer completely. Um, <laughs> do not leave this thing plugged in. And also, press the power button back here so that it's in the off position. Uh, power buttons have binary on them. One, the one means on and the zero means off. So set it to zero. And then, another thing is, uh, I recommend doing this on a hardwood floor, tile floor, or stone floor. I think laminate would be okay too. But basically, you just have to avoid rugs and carpet, because those can cause you to build up static electricity. And if you were to touch your components uh, while you had that static electricity building up on you, uh, you could fry your, your components. So be careful. Uh, Next thing you have to do is you have to open up your case. So as you can see, I've taken the door off of this case. And you also uh, need to be aware that these graphics card cards take up slots on the back of your computer. Uh, most graphics cards these days ha take up two slots. So you're going to have to clear up two slots in the back of your computer. As you can see, I've done that already. I just popped them out real easy like. Um, this is a screwless case, so I just had to do that, but uh, some of you might have cases with screws in them, and in that case you are going to have to unscrew them and get a proper screwdriver. Uh, next thing you have to be aware of is you are looking for the PCI Express 2.0 slot. Uh, if your motherboard has more than one of these slots, you should read your motherboard manual and make sure that the slot you're going to be putting the graphics card into is a times 16 slot. Because if you, if you uh, put the card into a times 8 or times 4 slot, uh, it might not be able to perform its best. Basically, the times 16 just means that it has more bandwidth and will be able to push more polygons and more memory uh, through the actual motherboard and display it and everything. So. Time 16 slot, PCI Express 2.0, you need two slots open, get all of your wires out of the way, and then also uh, you need to have a power supply capable of handling it. This is kind of a ghetto power supply, so it only has one um, PCI Express power plug, it's, it's a six pin plug, so uh, most of the newer graphics cards, they come with a, a four pin Molex to six pin PCI Express converter cable thingy, adapter. Um, so if you only have one PCI Express six pin plug, you're gonna have to use this adapter or get a new power supply. Um, I recommend getting a new power supply if you only have one plug on your power supply because uh, basically the number of plugs that come with your power supply are indicative of how how heavy of a load it can handle and everything like that. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. We got the two uh, power plugs identified, so that'll make it easy once we have the graphics card installed. Now we just need to install the graphics card. So let's pick it up. Something you need to be aware of, or you need to be careful with, is uh, you need to do your best to not touch the gold beads on this thing. Um, because that's what's actually sending the data and uh, receiving the data from the motherboard. So um, you don't want to be touching that and smudging it and getting gunk on it. So be careful. I usually like to pick it up by the back and by the heat sink, just like so. And then you just go and you line it up, make sure all the cables are out of the way. You don't want anything getting stuck. Um, and you just push it in until you hear a click. Um, you'd be surprised at how sturdy most of these computer components are. 
Uh, most of you probably grew up with parents like mine who said, you know, don't touch that, don't, <laughs> don't mess with the computer, don't touch the computer. Um, but you can actually put these things through quite a bit of punishment and they'll still be okay. Obviously you can't like punch it into place or uh, karate chop it or anything like that, but uh, just be gentle but firm with your presses. Make sure it's all the way plugged in. If it's not all the way plugged in, you might have some problems, like your computer won't boot up, or it'll boot up and then reboot randomly, or your uh, the fan on the graphics card will uh, run at 100% speed constantly, which is really obnoxious and bad for the fan, and just many other things. So make sure that it's all the way plugged in. Be firm. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the case itself is holding the graphics card in place. For me, I just press these little things in, but some of you might have to screw it in. And then uh, last but not least, you got to uh, get the power all supplied by way of these plugs. And as you can see, let's let me show you. Uh, there are those little plugs on the side of the graphics card. They're right there. And that's what you're aiming for with these six pin PCI Express plugs. So. Uh, this is kind of a stretch because I'm using this adapter, but uh, you just gotta, there we go. Plug it in there until it clicks, and then get your other one, and plug that one in until it clicks. Boop, boop, boop. Come on. Oh, man. I moved the whole computer that time. There we go. Okay. And that's it. It's pretty basic. Um, you just need to make sure that you do all the correct things. Put the graphics card in a PCI Express 2.0 time 16 slot. Make sure you have the proper power supply plugs and enough power supply plugs. Uh, you must make sure that this thing is plugged in properly before you boot up. You need to make sure that your graphics card is getting enough power to actually run or else you're just going to have problems up the wazoo. Um, Make sure that the, the gold leads at the bottom of the card are nice and clean and you haven't touched them too much. And be careful about static. Other than that, uh, just be careful, have fun, and enjoy being able to actually install a graphics card for yourself. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was um, all-encompassing and thorough and effective. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.